code six is Daddy needs you. Oh shit! Ha! Twenty orange to granddad. <laughs> Looky there, he's awake. You daft! Don't go in there! Shut it, he's in chains, can't do a thing. Am I right, Master Geralt? <laughs> Roll again! Why? The dice didn't roll! Calling me a cheat? Take it back. Look, he's awake again. Monster slayer, my ass. A regular horson. I heard witches would start out as roadside orphans taken in by mages. Mages who experiment on them. <laughs> Folks say they plough witches come the equinox. That's how they get those spooky eyes. Enough! Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. I thought you died. I'm not so easy to kill. I don't believe we've been introduced. Vernon Roach. Walk around behind me if you want to shake. Well, how foolish of you. Vess! Unshackle him. Geralt, of Rivia. Care to introduce us? No, thanks. Bring something to drink. We can't sit here cotton-mouthed. You will tell me everything you remember. The entire assault. And all that happened in the solar. And if I refuse? I shall have to beat you. I've commanded the special forces for a while. Got good at beating others. You're a witcher. You'd endure much. You better believe it. Worst case scenario, you'll suffer through it, go back to your cell, and tomorrow, they'll publicly gut you, skin you, and hang you. Just like that? For nothing? No. For Temeria. Downright praiseworthy. Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle. But Foltest is not someone you refuse. Witcher, uh. are you up? <sighs> His Majesty, King of Tiberia, Pontar, Mahakam, and Sodden, Senior Protector of Bruges, summons Master Geralt to appear before him. Tell him I'll be there shortly. Sorry to intrude like this, milady, but the King. We heard you. A pleasant day to you, milady. Witcher.
Stupid war. Could have been such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. A wise war is a contradiction, Triss. Then maybe you know just how I should advise our lustful monarch. Stop falling in love, sire no further bastards, and don't wage stupid wars. Genius. You know these bastards could vie for the throne in the future? Then we'd have an even more senseless conflict. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Altest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined. But they're kings, one of whom we serve. And I'll see Foltest is summoned, protect him if need be. But once the castle falls, we leave. Did you dream of the wild hunt again? Mm -hmm. I get the feeling that dream's important. Running frantically through the forest. The Wild Hunt. They're the last things I remember. I wake up and try to relive the dream and the memory, hoping I'll find some guidance. Some clue to grab onto. Something that'll help me recover my memory. Dreams can be very powerful. Some people claim they can even shape reality. People claim a lot of things. The problem is, it's often nonsense. We'll know in time. I'm sure of it. Time to look to the lustful king and his stupid war. I'll join you later. For battle. Fear not, Excellency, we're out of range of their armor. Finally! Traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advisor. How may I assist you, sire? We mount an assault today, and you'll be at my side. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's not keep the traitors waiting. Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had no idea your grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballistae two years ago for her birthday. Sire. What say you, Excellency, of men who live in spite of such wounds? And what say you, your grace, of soldiers who inflict them? Those who did this live no more. Master Geralt, I wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Excellency. I plan to leave the Royal Court as soon as possible. Why? Too often they take over someone I love. What do they call you, soldier? Wait. You served with me at Brenneran during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sadel. Still an arbalist? Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Ha! <laughs> Norman Sador, for your years of faithful service to the Crown, I appoint you to Curian of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle.
Forgive my candor, Your Majesty, but uh, I must ask, what fate awaits the royal bastards when... They're my children. If I hear bastard one more time, someone will die. Painfully. Your Grace, forgive me. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Piss on the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. Your Majesty is entirely within his rights. Adder is dead. And I have no other children. I see. This conversation is over, Excellency. Please retire to your tent. Black ones in my camp for a battle. What has the world come to? Nothing will make me happier than returning his shriveled head to Emir in a sack. But Triss Merigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? I couldn't have handled it better myself. Ha! I always knew you were one of us. And bugger what folks say. They talked about Adder no end. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Nothing new, sire. A month's passed and we don't know any more than we knew when we began. This investigation's gone. My agents have learned little also. But we'll find the culprits. It's just a question of time. Now for the battle. I want you at my side today. Then you may go where you please. Thank you, sire. Where are you aiming, imbeciles? Soldier! Spyglass! What is going on up there? The gods! Count at your belly! Catch, Witcher! Aim for the rogue with the red plume. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! How much higher? One and a half degrees. Did we hit the bastard? He's down. Ha! One less traitor. Time to attack. Follow me, Witcher! You know, Witcher, I'm prepared to forgive Louisa. All she need do is to kneel before her king. Very noble of you. Are you mocking me? Never mind. I'm certain Louisa will realize her mistakes. Besides, children should have a mother. Lost. It's quite simple. Louisa and I had a bit of a tiff. She made demands I could not fulfill. Understand? I think so. Count Echeverry and others immediately intervened, all noble, all sympathetic. They claimed the evil king would take her children, but they would protect them, even place them on the throne. And the Baroness was duped, a motherly love used. In truth, they desire privileges that would weaken the throne. Taking orders, that's your boat! Going and country, there, your wife! And a long road at your toe! On the bridge! 
Rinelli there! Weapons at the ready! That tower was ridiculous. It was designed to break the rebels' morale. A bunch of lords and lordlings took a ride to then pompously stride on top of the walls, while the real army fought and died below them in the shit and piss-filled streets. If years of service have taught me anything, it's that the Highborn don the best costumes and get the best vantage points, whether at a ball or in battle. But it's not the time for that kind of jousting, Witcher. Continue your story. Things went relatively smoothly after we came out of that tower. That is, until we ran into Arian Lavalette. Push for the center aisle and bring down that gate. It's a good day to kill, Your Majesty. Follow me, gentlemen. For Tamiria! Lord Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defenders' morale. Yes, Your Grace. Geralt, gentlemen, follow me. For the glory! Fall back, God damn it! I forbid you to die like imbeciles! Hear me! They've taken a good position, the bastards! If this persists, they'll pick us off like ducks, and I'm no duck! Any ideas? That ballista would do the trick.
door! Smash the door! Axeman, give me splinters! <laughs> Be put down like the rabid dogs you are! Arian Lava left. This will be no easy task. Surrender, Arian! You'll be treated with honor! Go plow yourself, King! Bury them in arrows! Come on, men! For Temeria! They're well shielded. You got a better idea? I'll try to get inside. It shouldn't be hard if the archers provide cover. That's the son of Louisa and the old Baron, heir to these lands. He's hot-tempered but good with a sword. Be careful. I'll try to reason with him. Cover the Witcher! Famed Geralt of Rivia. You've fallen low, Witcher. Word has it you're one of the best swordsmen in the north. Time to test that rumor. Enough slaughter. Surrender and Foltest will treat you and your men with honor. And what guarantee is there that he'll not cut us down to the last? None. Foltest defiled my mother. 
Now he colludes with Nilfgaard. The king leads an army. You have but a few brave men in your honor. In a minute you may lose even those. Choose. Hear that, men! The king sends a witcher and we are to surrender, forgetting the very nature of honor and pride. We must choose. Shame or a witcher's sword. Is that how you would live? Will you bow your heads before fault test? Never! You heard them, Witcher. Don't be a fool. This is no game. Your men don't need to die. Surrender, and the king will show mercy. My mother has seen enough of this king's mercy. What'll you do? Throw yourself on my sword? Run? He made mother a harlot, then denied her before all the realm. True enough. But no massacre, no misguided heroism will change that. Drop your weapons. Should anything happen to my mother, I shall find you and kill you. Arian Lavalet laid down his sword. Well, well. Have you spoken to him? Briefly. Just before they took him off to the torture chamber. The hard luck of a traitor. Continue. While I remember, what happened to the dragon? It destroyed half the castle. Killed hordes of soldiers and flew off. Where? In the general direction of Edon. To think it almost killed us all. 